All right, we're back, and it's chapter two time. So we're Mulder, an island in eastern Alfgard, where a town once stood surrounded by a crystal clear lake. Interesting. I'm looking forward to this. Looks dreary as hell, though. All right. Oh, it's got different monsters. Sweet. Actually, like, completely different biomes. Like, tree town and stuff. Okay, I'm pretty stoked for this. Is this where I land? All right, let's let's see what kind of stuff. Uh. Okay, my child, you have awoken. This is the next place that cries out for your help, dude. The land of Remulder. Long, long ago, the island you see before you was home to a prosperous city surrounded by crystal clear water. But now, all has been corrupted by this blighted mire. The few survivors live in constant fear of a dreadful disease. Here, my child, I offer this gift unto you. I got a flag! Or a cape, I'm not entirely sure. It's a little bit of both. Head towards the light you see before you, dude, and plant this banner of hope in the center of the ruins. All may seem strange to you at first, my child. The people you encounter here, the monsters you do battle with, even the new creations that you build. But I know that you will soon find your feet in this afflicted frontier. Now go, dude. Head towards the light. All right, so first and foremost, let's see what I have. Oh, they even took away my my trinkets. Ah, oh, come on, really? At least we got my wayfarer's clothes and an oaken club. And a mallet. Okay, so that's a little bit of something. Uh, buildings, room recipes. Okay, so it looks like my room recipes are still here. Including, are we are we lucky? Is it here? Botanical garden. Okay, so uh, you got, I didn't put this on camera, but I built the the uh, botanical garden uh, that I didn't. Turns out that wasn't the Cantlin garden, though. I actually have to go somewhere else uh, to get that done. And it looks like recipes have been completely reset. Well, that sucks. Well, we should probably go pick up some extra broken branches while we're out here. Let's actually, you know, let's grab some things. We got our first frog stool. We got some broken branches. Looks like broken branches are going to be easy to get our hands on. Comparatively, let's switch to the club for the time being, just so I don't lose anything. Uh, but yeah, I want to I want to be able to make as many mallets as we possibly can. This place looks gross. Oh, interesting. It's like a carpenter's bench. Let's take a look at it. Okay, yep, carpenter's workstation. So instead of blacksmithy stuff... Whoa! Okay, so I actually have a lot more recipes here than I thought I did. I thought it would. Some of them have disappeared, but it looks like we're kind of back to... We're, we're definitely better off than where we were last time. Uh, last time start. So I guess... I don't know, I'm not going to complain about all of this too much. Now, realistically, I shouldn't go on a building spree yet. We should probably actually, you know, use our flag. And, you know, start working on things. Okay, your health even went down. Well, yeah, yeah, that's poison water around here. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. My child, the people who inhabit this blighted land have lost hope. They live in constant fear of the disease that stalks all who live here. Thanks to your efforts in Cantlin, my children are gradually regaining the power to build. However, the men and women in Remolder have not the strength to resist the epidemic and have all but surrendered to the sickness. Dude, it will not be long before the banner's light draws the survivors to this place. You must build a new town here and purify this polluted land. Do what you must to eradicate the blight by which it has been gri gripped. And know, my child, that I do watch over you always. Okay, so for starters... No, where's the, uh, where's the gift we got from Pippa? I don't see it. I do see a nun. And this weird block here. What's this? First water crystal. Interesting. Wait, does this... Does the water crystal create water? On, like, the, uh, the level I'm, I'm working with? It might. Well, let's talk to the nun. Heavens above, I never expected to find a poor alien patient... Ailing patient in a place like this. What's the matter with you, my lamb? Does your stomach hurt, or your chest, or, Rubus forbid, is there something wrong with your head? What? There isn't anything the matter with you at all. But if that's the case, 
Whatever you, whatever are you doing in a place like this? Mercy me, you're the builder? The one with the power to create? Did you make this flag too? If you really are the builder, then the great shepherdess in the sky must have guided you here. Truly, the goddess does watch over us always. My name is L. L, I guess. Uh, please, my lamb, help me save this blighted land. Alright. This entire island is infected by the blight. Some even say that all the sickness in Alephgard is concentrated here. I want to save this place. I want to heal each and every one of the poor souls afflicted by the illness. Will you help me, dude? Will you join me in fighting back against the sickness that plagues this land? I'm sorry, you want to know what happened to my leg? It was my own silly fault, really. In my haste to reach the light that I saw shining down here, I tripped, and, it over, uh, I tripped and injured myself. If I had some healing cream to rub on it, I'm sure I'd get better right away. But I mustn't grumble. Grumble. After all, it is nothing comparing to the uh, compared to the suffering others endure. Well, it was that easy enough. Let's kind of bonk some of these things. Let's clear it out. Dude's received his first bonfire. Ha! A lot of purple flowers around here. I wonder if they're more common than the white ones. I want. I wonder if I can make a uh, healing cream out of them. Not a clue. Oh, well, we're getting plenty of uh, milk blossom buds, though. So I don't think we have to worry too hard about lack of resources. I want to go exploring, but I'm probably going to constrain myself to quests for the time being. Is there a way of checking challenges while we're here, by the way? Misk? <sighs> Damn. Yeah, I was hoping I'd be able to see what the challenges are. Uh, you know, what to build, what not to build. Well, I guess whatever happens, I'll just save before I end the uh, chapter, and we'll call that good enough. Okay. I want to go murder one of these snail-looking things. They look particularly murderable. Oh, God, and they're horrifying. Oh, right, they're called drolls, if I remember. It's been a long time since I've I've run into them. They're kind of a basic monster type in the Dragon Warrior series, and not all that common. And in uh, Dragon Warrior Monsters, which is the one that I, I play the most, uh, 1 and 2, you never wanted to use them. They're garbage. They had, like, a couple of good magic spells, but for the most part, I just kind of bypass and, and ignore. Hey, looks like we got a couple of things around here. I might just go raiding. I said I wasn't going to explore, and here we are. Okay. Not seeing much of anything. Sweet. I still have my thing. Oh, shoot. There's a note on the ground. Well. Uh, if I put the note here, can I read it? Nope. Well. I didn't even notice the note until I destroyed everything. <laughs> Oops. Also, according to some people in the comments, the, uh, of one of the last couple videos, the only way... Uh, trees grow is actually in town, which is really unfortunate, but I guess I'll, I'll make some kind of grove uh, in this one once we actually have the ability to make a tree. Yeah, can I? Can I? There we go. Yeah, we're gonna need some dirt blocks anyway, so I might as well start gathering them from this hut that I totally just raided. Let's see, this theme is a remix from Dragon Quest IV. Really? I, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, I actually do not listen to the music for this game. Um, I used to, but it just, it just didn't like, um, it didn't catch me particularly well. So what I, uh, what I do instead is I just totally listen to OC Remix instead. Ooh. I got a clump of cotton, and we've got a little bagman archer guy who drops a stick. Not really that useful. Alright, whatever. Ah. Don't take falling damage here, Wander. That would be... That would be a bad. That would be embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, I wonder what recipes we're going to learn for all these things. I guess let's grab cotton while we're here. Oh, we don't have a colossal coffer yet. Let's go back. Let's go see... Because I should probably build a colossal coffer before I do anything. Can I? Okay, cool. I am taking damage. Oh man, my health got reduced for coming back here. Well, that's unfortunate. Wait, what? My Twitch title hasn't updated. That's stupid. 
worked on it worked on one, didn't work on the other. Let's fix that. Do you want to work for me now, Twitch, or now? Yes? No? Okay, now I'm playing. Now I'm listed as the right game. Okay, now I have to redo all of my setup, and we're good. Okay, cool. Oh, she's getting biffed by a snail thing. She does a lot of damage with her punches. Okay, and we're gonna see. I might actually have to plant these flowers to harvest them for healing. I should probably make a chest more than anything else, because, yeah, Colossal Coffer is going to require wood, and we do not have that. Oh, we can make uh, fencing this time around, though. Neat. Oh, and we know how to make a simple bed already. Ooh. Okay. So we want to do items. Let's just discard the dilapidated crate for the time being. And... Yeah, I think I'm going to destroy this area for a second. We don't want to go up this high. Uh, yet. If we, if we do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to level everything with the flag uh, inside the town borders. It might make the monsters a little weird. Uh, but this time, I don't know, the height advantage could actually work for me. Or it could be just kind of inconvenient. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Bap the last stair, and I'm just gonna stick this stuff down for for the time being. Okay, I'm just gonna put everything away. We're probably gonna have to plant those flowers. Come to think of it, so let's grab these. I don't know how much healing cream she wants. I think, I think it shouldn't be that much. I really wish I could have actually brought my stuff over from one to the other. It would be... I don't know, it would have been nice. Okay, right, healing cream. I might need... I need three. Okay. Let's go murder us a couple more slimes for the time being. I am injured. Okay, there's one. Come on. Give me some flowers. Yeah, that nun lady does more damage than we do with the regular attacks. That ain't fair. Actually, I don't, I don't know if it's fair or not. Oh, here's the question. Is it still going to be wizards? Yep, still wizards. We don't exactly have an easy way of dealing with the wizard this time around. Might kill me. <laughs> oh, it could happen. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have... I think we're going to want to fortify town. Um, before we go too much further, I guess this is why you don't want to explore too much. Come on, nun lady. Oh, shit. She does. She like throws shit. I don't know if th she's throwing rocks or what, but she is actually she is actually like functional and aggressive. Thank you, bodyguard nun. Okay, yeah, let's finish this off. Even though we're... Ow. This thing is going to kill me. Alright. There we go. Basic bedroom. Doesn't follow me in. We sleep. Yes, problem solved. No death. Whew. I mean, I probably could have fought it if I actually, like, sat down and tried, but you gotta add, you gotta add a little bit of attention to these things. Sort of. Alright. Look out, monsters. That's probably from last night. Ah, right. We are gonna... We are gonna harvest this. This is a pain in the butt. Luckily, medical herbs should be easy to get my hands on. Alright. Herbal cream. Goddess be praised, you made a pot of healing cream just for me? Do you mind if I use it now? Yes. Thank you, dude. May the Holy Mother above bless your kind soul. I've never seen anyone craft new items from raw materials before. There's no doubt about it. You truly are the builder of legend. Oh, the goddess smiles down upon us this day. I beg you, dude. Use the powers that you've been blessed with to deliver this land from the blight. 
We get a bunch of broken branches. I need blood. Actually, I think I know where I can get some wood really fast. Dude, as I'm sure you've seen by now, this island is utterly engulfed by a poisonous swamp. Most of the people who used to live here succumbed to its effects. Almost all of those who survived have contracted the blight and suffer still. My lamb, I would like you to build me a sick room so that I might ask uh, that I might care for the afflicted. I've always dreamed of building a house of healing to aid the poor, suffering souls, and it seems that the great goddess has finally answered my prayers. Please take this blueprint and build me the sick room of my dreams. Yes, so we get this. Oh, it's big. Okay, well, time to time to start get, getting to work on this town. So this is the town limitation. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to build the town up. Um, I I, th I think yeah, yeah. We're just gonna have an upraised town. I I'm assuming we get attacked by monsters. Uh, in this one too. So if we just have like the city sitting on top of the stone wall, maybe just maybe. The monsters will just, like, sit around stupidly and not really figure it out. Of course, this is going to cost me a silly amount of dirt. That's going to take a while to to get my hands on. But, it'll be fun. Last last time we played, I kind of didn't do... Well, you know, I kind of gave up on, uh, on Cantlin. I was like, ah, I have to start over. I don't care anymore. This time around, I'm feeling a little bit more, um... I'm feeling a bit more motivated to get everything done, even though I know there's totally a time limit, and that by, like, sticking to the time limit, I actually do get another thing that I can use in uh, Terra Incognita. I just also don't care. So let's grab what we can. Actually, let's head over up onto this green part. Let's see if, um... Let's see if I've got, uh, like, regular trees up here. Because if I do, I want to make a colossal coffer. Like, first thing I can possibly grab. Okay. There we go. Et, there's a tree. Okay. Please, please be tall enough. Actually... Let's grab as many medicinal leaves as I can get my hands on. Nope, it's not a tree. It was just another one of these medicinal leaf things. Shoot. And I was hoping I'd be in luck here. It looks like my luck is sunk. Hmm. Gonna wander around a bit. I might as well grab more of these medicinal leaves. Yeah. Alright, fine. I guess let's go quarry out some some dirt from somewhere. Try not to take too much damage. Yeah, it looks like if I want trees, we're gonna have to go take a portal somewhere or something. All right. Well, where's a place that sucks? This this looks like a place that sucks. Ow. Okay. Yep, this super sucks. So we're just gonna go around grabbing a ton of dirt for the time being. I'm gonna wanna load up as much of the, um... I'm gonna wanna, uh, build up as much of the town as possible before I do any blueprint building. Uh, which means this is going to be a little bit... Mm, tedious. But, uh... It'll be kind of worth it in the end. So let's just scoot over here and grab as much as possible. Technically, it'd be better if I just repeatedly dug myself down into a hole. Uh, that'd be fish more efficient, but I don't think that'd actually be better for um, for speed because it would always take a little little while longer. All right, how much dirt do I have? I got like 200. Let's see, do I have the falling boots? Nope. Uh, they took them away from me. They took away all of my all of my trinkets. I wish there were, like, some things that carried over. Really just accessories. Uh, you know, the rare stuff that you don't normally get? I think that, to me, would be... Uh, the stuff that should carry over. Because it makes the most amount of sense, you know, it's it's kind of rare, hard to get... Uh, materials and so on and so forth. 
Uh, and you only get like one of them. But no, sad. Oh well. Oh, my giant mallet fell apart. Well, that's why I made a spare. Okay, what do we think? It's probably enough dirt. Let's let's finish off this one area. This like kind of clump. Just so we don't have any like weird extraneous blocks sitting around. Hopefully some of the area is gonna regrow, but honestly I don't think so. Which sucks. I, I really wish this was all in like one living, breathing world kind of situation. And you only ever had one town and you just had to keep expanding it as like certain emergencies ar arose. That's it. Yeah, it's crazy that they took my HP too. Exactly. Like, I understand why they did it, to kind of... I, I like the idea of the fresh start, it's just it also... I don't know, it kind of... It kind of ruins the game in a small way of just like, well... Every chapter is a reboot of the previous one. Luckily, like, it's kind of new game plusing it, so I can kind of understand. Still a bit frustrating. But we have, like, no food. I should probably make a kitchen quickly. Okay. Yeah, we still don't have any wood, so that means I can't do a colossal coffer. Okay, well let's let's see if I can make a uh, bonfire. Yes, can I not make a? Okay, cool. I can make a cook fire. Can't do a. Yeah, definitely can't do that. Oh, interesting. The recipes have changed slightly. Okay. Okay. So let's make a really basic room for cooking in here. I'm just gonna toss that there. Nope. I'm gonna toss that there. We need another chest. Cause yeah, if I uh, there's not much to eat around here. So if I can, if I can exploit her. Uh, for food. That'll probably save my butt. Hopefully we can make a straw door. I didn't see any thatch, so maybe that that poison moss stuff will do the trick. Door, 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 door. I can't make doors, can I? But yes, I can. Straw door. Okay, yep. Yeah. Looks like strong dock. Uh, strong stocks do the trick. Okay, can I cook anything while we're here? Oh, right, we've got fried frog stools and uh, plenty of butter beans. So, okay, we're not totally screwed on food here. I was like, I don't see any of my usual food stuff, but maybe that's just me. That is a freaky looking monster. I do not like. Do we get anything cool from it? The answer is no. Okay. Well, Let's just go around walling off town. If the wizard can't bother me, that'll make my life easier. Running. No, I don't want to talk to him, her, lady, person. Sleep. There we go. Okay. What we're probably gonna want to do. Let's get that that healing center set up. Though now that now that we've got like a little bit of food, we should be okay. I could actually also make this kind of like a double-decker town, with like a lower section and an upper section. I'll think about it. Currently, I think I just wanna... I, I just wanna get the, the town up on stilts, effectively. It'd be interesting to actually go like wildly out of my way to make it even taller than the, um... What am I thinking? Uh... Like even taller than the uh, the flag, and just have like a staircase going up from the flag, so no monsters could reach me ever. We might do that for the final chapter, depending. I don't know. I'd, I'll have to think about it. I wonder if there's uh, there's got to be like super secret monsters here as well. Like, what am I thinking? You know, like the dragon. Like if there was uh, if there were just a couple of like rare monsters to show up. And, uh, defeat? Uh, here and there for, for trinkets and whatnot. That'd be cool. We'll have to see if it shows up. 
Uh, I mean, there's probably going to be one in somewhere in like a remote region of every single one of these. Um... Oh. Yeah, it's not a good situation trapping her in there. Be funny. Make kind of this like weird NPC prison. But that's kind of horrifying and I'd prefer to avoid that. Maybe if there was this, like, fallout, and I was consumed by my, like, ever-living lack of respect for the NPCs in that game. At least these ones try to have some personality. Yep. It's actually kind of hard to tell where the, uh, town borders are. I wish you could also lay out extra blocks really fast here. Okay, so let's get this town wall going. I'll probably have to go out and get some boiled butterbean stuff. Okay. Yeah, you know what? This is probably fine for a bit. I think we got enough room for her healing her healing hut. Okay. Not exactly a fan of that placement, though. You know what? Let's, uh, let's remove the blueprint. Let's knock this out. Oh, that, like, extraneous door to nowhere is what I'm not liking. So let's, let's fill that in. Uh, let's rotate this. So if we, like, fill in this area, this could work. Uh, that'll be fine. And that way we don't have, like, two totally bizarre doors. Admittedly, I think we could still have, um... I think we could actually, like, build the thing and immediately get rid of that second door. But whatever. Let's see. One, two... Skip to the loo. Yep. Surprise, that works. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how many... Yeah. I don't know how big I want to make this. We'll see. Let's see. Did I find it odd as well that the dragon dropped a couch? I found it a little odd. I liked it that the other dragons dropped, like, trinkets and stuff that were actually useful. Or accessories. Uh... hope we have enough dirt to make this thing. Eh, 50 dirt. Probably enough. Worst comes to worst, I just go back for a little bit more. Okay, there we go. That should work. Yeah, we're gonna have some tall walls. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go quarry some more dirt here. Oh, that'll that'll be fine. I'm just glad to get started on filling this town in. Because that's... It's gonna take a while. I guess the other thing we could do is actually start quarrying the dirt literally from around our town. That'd be funny. Like, obviously we could do, uh, do it over here to some degree. But we kind of need these resources to come back. I guess let's start cutting into this hill over here. Okay, we've got our first block of clay. Oh, neat. It's the weird... Oh, poisonous peat. Okay, maybe quarrying into this, um... Ow. Maybe quarrying into this witchgrass seed. Yeah, into this hillside is probably not the greatest idea. Okay. I'll think about it. Uh... Yeah, because I was over there quarrying out. What do we got? 46. Let's go for a little bit more. Oh, is it... When it's raining, the, um... These guys get aggressive. I got it. Okay. Yeah, let's just get back to where my quarry was. Yeah, so when it's raining, the, the drolls get aggressive. Really aggressive. I need to... This reminds me, I need to go get, get me some... Um, ow, didn't take him out. What? Dude becomes poisoned. Ah, balls.
these guys have magic. Wonder how long poison lasts. We might, we might die. Let's go. She. Let's go. Let's go see if I can make some healing things, and let's go see if she's, uh, like mix up some food quick, because we in trouble. Okay, poison's gone, but food's about gone too. Come on, please tell me you've been cooking this entire time. Nope. Apparently she will not work the uh, co kitchen. Okay, so let's try something else. Medicinal herb. Okay, I'm gonna just cram this in my face. Now let's go get some butter beans real quick. Otherwise, brabble. I'll use the poisonous peat to ladder up. At least the beans are uh, plentiful from what I remember. Okay. One, two, skip to the loo, three, four. Okay, we're up here, it's got cotton, healy herbs, there's, there's the beans. Okay. Yeah, we want to grab as many butter beans as possible. Hopefully she'll start using the, the small kitchen, but if she doesn't, I probably am going to be okay. Why does this game do survival better than, like, half the other survival games I've played? I mean, I guess it doesn't. Oh, yeah, I haven't been going for... I haven't been going for, like, any of the daffodaisy stuff. Which we don't need. I'm just gonna plant it there. We're gonna grab the orange oil. I don't even know... ...how useful that is. Okay. And we should have more than enough butter beans that I'm not going to starve to death here. Falling damage, on the other hand. Might have to worry about that. What is that? Oh, that's another one of those... No! I think that's like, uh, whatever those, like, little gremlin-y dudes. I think that's like a wizard variety. Oh. Okay, building on an empty stomach. So we slowly starve to death here. Boop. Luckily, this guy will not follow me into buildings. So let's make a bunch of boiled butter beans. And not die. Okay. Drop this off, drop this off. Oh, she did g give me some fried eggs. Well, whatever. Yeah. Nope, the wizard will come into rooms. Ah. Okay, sleeping time. No, I don't want to talk to freaking who put these beds next together next to each other. That's inconvenient. Uh. Okay. Well, empty room. I'm going to put these beds separate. Realistically, I'm probably going to tear up that bedroom too. But let's let's get this let's get this sick room started at the very least. I'm not even sure what like half of these things are. I haven't even looked at the blueprint yet. It's just like ah, let's put the walls on. We'll figure everything else out in a bit. Okay, so what do we need? A wash tub, bonfire, pot plant, small table, simple two simple bit. Jeez, a little bit more than I thought it was going to be. Okay, can I make a pot plant? What does pot plant need? Pink petals. Well, at least those are easy to come by. Let's get the two simple beds at the very least. Man, why couldn't we figure out how to make a simple bed that last one? Okay. So we need two straw doors. Bonfire. Oh. I think we have a spare bonfire somewhere. Right, right here. I'm gonna have to upgrade this place, it looks janky. Okay. We want a small table. And wash tub, which means we need cord, which means we need that ivy, we need a lot of things. Luckily, 
Should all be pretty easy to come by. There's our first set of pink petals. Two, three. Yeah, let's only go for three. I don't feel like going for more. Uh Ivy. Ivy's all the way over there. Let's just run it. I'm not I'm not starving to death anymore, so I can I can deal with a slight amount of damage. Okay, really should consider my own house. Yeah, I didn't make one last time. I I I think I was just kind of grumpalicious that uh, they took away my, well, they took away my progress on the original Cantlin, and then they also uh, took away, well, yeah, they t they took away my demo progress. That's enough to get me a little bit grumpy. Trying to harvest this ivy. Not freaking... There we go. Okay. There we go. That should be enough ivy. There's totally got to be something at the top of that. Either that or it's joshing me. You know, just realize. We've got all this clay. I'm going to make a, a short bridge. Unless the chimeras kill me for it. Because instead of either taking the long way around, bap, 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 there we go, death. Okay. Yeah, let's just make a bridge across. Can't be that long. I've got some amount of dirt blocks. But yeah, if we don't have to fuck. Stupid enemies in the ranged attacks. Okay. Nobody should be killing me, and we don't have a long walk back. That's good. Oh, we are close to death, though. Wait, can I can I do this? Yes! Never liked these dilapidated crates anyway. What, an, what a good way of getting rid of all of our useless junk. Yes! Okay, then we're going to take a short nap. I guess I could have probably just made a healing item, but I know I'm not going to be able to finish this. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be able to finish this uh, within the time limit. I might go back and do it, but I'm probably never going to. I'm not the kind of person that's going to go wildly out of their way for that sort of thing. All right, we got to make some cord. Okay. Wash tub. I'll deal with the other stuff in a second. Okay, so what do we need? We need... Small table. Pot plant. Wash tub. So all we're missing are the two straw doors, right? Yes! Okay, that's... That makes this easy. Straw door. Straw door... It's like up here somewhere, yes? Straw door. I need broken branches. Well. Might as well get rid of these, like, crappy trees around the house. I hope at some point, like, the, the area starts to look a little bit nicer. Okay, so we don't want to go after the ones that generate broken branches around them. I don't know if that's necessarily how this works. But, uh, hate to run out of resources somehow. Ah, uh, that would be embarrassing. Unlikely, but still. Okay. And we haven't finished the wall in the town yet, but that'll be fine. It'll just be nice to have this, like, really tall town. Ah, right. Gotta make the doors. So, one. I don't have enough strong stocks. It's one thing or another. I'm not happy about it. I don't know. I just haven't had the time to sit down and farm for all the resources, so it's just like, eh, do I have enough of everything? I don't know. I don't want to go. I don't want to go like farming specifically for like stocks or sticks or whatever. Eventually, we're going to be just rolling it at all. Once we have the uh, colossal coffer, this all gets a lot easier. Just gotta get the colossal coffer. Okay, and let's get her. Damn it! Her Healy house. 
Not exactly the prettiest, but still. So we've completed the blueprint. I don't know why it doesn't just get rid of itself. Okay, can be used to treat patients. Interesting. Yeah, she actually has very specific pathing here. I don't know why she goes into that door, but still. And then closes in my face! Praise the goddess! It's just as I've always imagined. Thank you, my lamb. I don't know how I can possibly repay you. Dude. Our lives are but fleeting things. There are many people who think it pointless to struggle against the si sickness. Many of those who fall ill do not believe that they have the strength to win their battle with the blight. They abandon all hope and wait in silence for the almighty Mother Rubis to collect them into her all-loving arms. But I have hope. I believe. I know these people have the strength and courage they need to emerge victorious. And now that you've built us this sick room, you and I can work together to free the great shepherdess's flock from this accursed blight. Well then, now that that's decided, let's... Dot dot dot. You'll help me, won't you, dude? Please tell me you will. Alright. Uh, let's see, really you hold me, dude? Rubus be praised for sending me such a willing disciple. I beg your pardon? You didn't say anything of the sort? Forgive me. I fear I was so caught up in the excitement of my own sick room, I only heard what I want hope to hear. But, be that as it may, after the wonderful work you did with that room, I have another request for you. Now that we have a sick room for the ill and injured to recuperate in, we must bring them here and help them to get better. Some time ago I saw a man who had fallen ill with the blight, a little way to the west. Alas, I didn't have any of the medicines I needed to soothe his troubles. Though he may be too weak to walk, dude, I'm sure that a strong fellow like you would be able to carry him here. Please, my lamb, use your compass to find this poor soul and lay him to rest in the sick room. Okay, so we have to go kidnap a guy and forcibly heal him or something. I don't know, anyway. Let's save. Let's see if this is a completely separate save file. Yes, it is. Good. Okay, I didn't want to have to overwrite any of the other save files that I had. That would be unfortunate. I, I, I want to go back to Cantlin every once in a while. And I'd hate to actually lose that progress.